Hello. Are you sad, lonely, depressed? Do you catch yourself listening to Yellow by Coldplay, Hey There Delilah, Miss You by Blink-182? Well, I'm Connor Klotz, and I have one solution for you, okay? It's how to riz up a female. Some of you guys have never talked to, touched, or even seen a female before, but I'll be here to help you out and teach you some of my riz tips today, okay? So come to the studio and I'll show you how. Now let's fix this little three right here. Ugh, okay. So welcome to the riz board, how to riz. We have a full class here today. Okay, so I have three categories for you guys. We have basic tips, trial and error, and the becoming him. Your basic tips right here are you're kind of getting your feet into, into the water. You know, you're getting your feet in, you're kind of experimenting a little. So let's start with number one is don't help too much. Don't be that good, friendly, buddy, buddy around here, okay? We don't need that. We don't need that friend. Now, you don't need to be friend zoned, okay? That's, that's not what you want. You don't want to be that buddy buddy. You want to be that first person to ask her what's up. You want to be that like second or third. That's for her friends, not for you, buddy. Number two is big and simple. I, th I feel like this is a simple one is do not simp. Oh, do this. Do not simp. You know what simping is? It's kind of self-explanatory. We'll get on to the next one. Number three is be the alpha male. Don't let her wear the pants. You wear the pants, bro. Don't let her wear the pants. Be the alpha male, okay? Now, also, I forgot to say this. This is you. This is the drawing I made of you. Uh, this is you right here. So this is you all sad, you know, probably bumping yellow, like I said. But we moved on to category two, trial and error. So these are like, this is where you're, your mistakes and your success mostly are. This is your, this is kind of your bread and butter, you know? So, number one, talk to the woman in real life. That, that I cannot stress this enough. This is, this is a big mistake that some people have. Is man, Snapchat works, but you, you, need, to, you need to see them in real life. You know, they need to know how you be, how you act, how you, how, you know, if you're funny or not. Snapchat is cool and all, but don't use that, or Instagram, don't use that as your main, you know, main talking source. Talk in real life. Now, number two and number three are probably the biggest, what do, what do I want to call them? The biggest, the biggest ones to not forget. Number two is don't be afraid to fail. So many people are just afraid to fail nowadays, man. You got to. You gotta embrace yourself. You know, if you fail, get back up and try again. You know that, you know, there are many fish in the sea, but you only get one life. So use it to your advantage. Number three. Number three is probably our biggest one. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put a smiley face by it. There you go. Learn from past mistakes. You know, maybe, maybe you're too, too caring. You know, maybe next time you ease back a little. Uh, maybe you talk too much, so next time, talk a little bit less. Maybe you weren't listening enough, listen more. This one is a very big one, and most people actually don't use this. So some people just try to stay the same. So learn this one the most. These two are probably your biggest one. I'll put a smiley face by this one too. Okay. Number three, category three, is becoming him. This is where you want to be in your life. This is what you want to be. You want to be this big muscly guy that gets all the females, right? You want to be him. You want to be the top G with a, with a lot of flavor, okay? So, number one on the becoming him category is use your strengths, you know? Now, from your past mistakes, you know, you know what's wrong. You know, you know what you need to fix, so maybe you're a good talker. Use that, you know, talk a lot. Um, you, maybe you're a good listener. Listen a lot, maybe, you know? Just use your strengths to your advantage here. Number two, assess the target. I'm gonna ask Darren, what is wrong with number two? Um, in your case, it'd be assess the victim. No. You don't call him a target. If you're becoming him and you have the girl in your hands, 
have, have the girl in your fingertips, right? Have her in your grasp. You, uh, you don't call them the target. What the heck are you doing? Then, then they feel offended. Most of them do. You call them the partner because that, cause they're yours now. You know, you, you hold them. You, you, they're yours. They won't leave you. Assess the partner. You know, know, know what she likes, know her, know her dislikes. You know, just get to know her and make sure you're the right one. Then the last one, this one's probably one of the biggest, this one's also a big one, is confidence is key. You think, you think Pete Davison got Ariana Grande and Kim K by being a little sad boy? No, he used confidence. He knew, he knew what he's good at. He knows what he's good at. He has confidence. He used his strengths, right? So confidence is key. And I hope I helped some of you guys that never touched, seen, or even talked to a female before. Um, thank you guys for watching. Welcome back to the Riz Tips. I have a few callers on the line, or they were on the line, they're on voicemail now. So we're gonna listen to them, those two, and I'm gonna get back to them, okay? So let's hear the first one. Go ahead. Hey, Connor, hey, I'm, I'm calling in. Uh, you're, you're the Riz God, as you're known around class. Uh, and you see, I was having trouble with, I was having trouble with, this one girl, she lives across me, uh, across the street. She's a big, beautiful dame. I love her very much. I, I fell head over heels as soon as I saw her. It was love at first sight. Uh, but I, I, I tried walking over to her house, knocking on the door, asking her to marry me. She said no. I, I, I even brought her gifts and treats. Uh, but she rejects my sexual advances at any cost. It's, it's devastating to me, Connor. And I was really open uh, with this new program. You can help me find some Riz and uh, bring me uh, joy, bring me the love and joy I, I want from this woman across the street, this big, beautiful damsel. She's in distress, Connor, and I feel like I'm her. I'm definitely her knight in shining and armor. She just doesn't see it yet. So, Connor, please. Well, thank you for calling, Bowie. But my best tips about this is, you know, you know, invite her, you know, not, go knock at the door, you know, kind of, you know, if you haven't introduced yourself yet, introduce yourself, you know, knock at the door, say, hey, look, I'm Boy, I'm your neighbor. But, uh, you know, invite, invite her over for dinner, you know, you got to, you know, again, one of, the, one of the things on the board, it says, you know, talk to this person in real life, you know. So invite her over, you know, make a good dinner, you know, don't go out. I, I wouldn't say go out, you know, invite her over, and, you know, uh. Maybe you have a dog or some. Make sure you make sure she sees you have a dog. Maybe she likes dogs. Uh, but I guess that would be my best guess. You know, again, Bowie, always have confidence. Remember, confidence is key. Remember to be that top dog. You want that confidence in you, okay? So, and that's where I'm going to leave it there. And let's move on to the next caller. Hey, Riz God. Um, I'm kind of looking for some help to get this girl. She's a little bit on the bigger side, but you know that's okay. We like our Lizzos here. Um, honestly, anything that you could do to help me would be great because she is a straight 10 out of 10 Lizzo. Um, yeah, anything you could do to help me would be great. Thank you. Well, thanks for calling, Ben. So, let's see. This girl's a 10, but she's more Lizzo. Wait, okay. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I like, I, you know, I like that. I like, I, you know, I like your confidence, you know. I like that you know she's hot, so you, you know what you want. I like that from you. But, um, you know, um, again, I, I would have to say the same thing I did for Bowie is, you know, is, uh, you know, get that confidence, you know, maybe, maybe ask for a number or something. You know, you got to, again, you know, that confidence is key. You know, get her number and then, you know, go out to eat. She probably likes food, so... Go out to eat, um, you know, get a, get a good munch on. You know, uh, some dates I would look out for, though, is like movies. I wouldn't go to the movies first. It's that stuff where you're not, you don't really get to talk to them. You know, you get the, you know, and Ben, you get, the, you get to look at her at the restaurant, you know, wherever you go, you know. So that's where I'm going to leave you there. Thank you for the people that called in, and thank you all for watching this lesson. See, see you guys later.